Hello kindergarten, first and second grade artists and welcome back to your virtual art room. Today you'll be working on a watercolor project that will involve painting using forms or the shapes that come together that create what an object looks like. We will be creating a series of long stem poppies uh, using a wet on dry and wet on wet techniques. Before you begin, make sure that you have all of your materials ready. It is helpful to pre-mix some green paint if you are working only with primary colors. Otherwise, you should be all set with a paint set. Let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is tape down all four sides of your paper. Uh, you want to keep in mind that we want to work with our paper vertically in portrait uh, style. So your paper should be long ways in front of you and then placing one long piece of strip across each side of your page. So it's half on your paper and half on the paint board or your paint surface. We are going to start painting our poppy flowers in the upper half of your paper. I recommend starting as closer, closer towards the top and then working your way downward um, so that you're not having to reach over wet paint. To make a flower shape like a poppy, we're going to connect five or six small circles so that they uh, form a floral shape. Um, these are rounder or oval type uh, round forms that we're connecting and then filling in the center so that we have a uh, we can see the petals that are sticking out from the sides. You want to complete uh, small flowers. So you want to make sure that they're staying in a uh, in a small shape and you want to be able to fit about 10 or 12 different flowers in the top half of your page. You want to leave a nice amount of space on the bottom of the page for uh, your stems. We wanna have some nice long stem poppies. If you don't have a paint set, I recommend mixing some green before you start in a jar or a dish so that you can go right to green without ha having to mix right on your paper. So our stems are going to stop at, start at the base of each flower and reach all the way down to the bottom of the page. And one of the nice things about having the taped edges is that we're able to keep a nice uh, straight line, a nice edge out on our paper. Uh, so it'll be a nice even line where the poppy stems end. Each one of your flowers gets its own stem. Uh, be mindful that flowers in the back are going to have uh, longer stems that might overlap or go behind other flowers. When you're done making your stems, you can go ahead and add some nice little pointy leaves, maybe two or three for each stem if you can fit them. Um, and you can actually just use your brush if you're using a round brush and just press down the side of the round brush so that it makes the imprint of that leaf shape for you. Um, otherwise, you can paint them individually. You might not have room to do two to three leaves per stem, and that's okay. We just want to fill the space and give the illusion that there are plenty of leaves um, growing with our flowers. Make sure you take your time. The video is sped up so that you can see it um, a little bit faster, but make sure you take your time and be mindful of where your hand is. You don't want to accidentally place your hand in any wet paint. Once you're finished your leaves, your stems should be dry, so you should be able to go back over and make them a little bit darker with another layer of watercolor. This technique is called glazing, uh, and it creates a really neat um, definition to the stem or to any type of line or area that you're adding another layer. Again, just be careful with uh, reaching over your paper. If you need to turn your paper or find a different way to hold your brush to make it a little bit easier for you to uh, go back over the stems without smudging anything else, go ahead and do that. Okay, so on the example picture, I showed you uh, traditional poppies with black center. So if you have black watercolor, uh, at this point, you can add black dots to the center of your flowers. If not, and in this case, I didn't have any black with me, so I chose to do yellow um, and make yellow centered flowers. When you're finished working, you can remove the tape from the edges of your paper, reveal that nice smooth line across the bottom. Uh, don't forget to take a picture and upload your piece to our online student gallery to share with all your buddies. I can't wait to see your work. Bye.